Hi everybody, this is Cindy with Magazine Mama and today I'm here with Lori Williamson and she's going to be talking about how she used a kids photography camp curriculum um, and is planning for her summer camps. So Lori, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lori um, Williamson. I'm the owner of Kids with Cameras in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. And um, tell everybody how you got started in photography. Um, so I got started in photography in a little bit more of a serendipitous way rather than the usual, you fall in love with a camera as a kid and you keep shooting till you just can't mm -hmm. stop. Um, so I actually started in early 2018. Um, my husband had passed away in June of 2017. And um, photography was always his thing. So it was just a hobby of his, but on our honeymoon, on our 10 year anniversary trip to Ireland, like it was always, he always had all this stuff here. And I was the only one responsible for carrying it. <laughs> So yeah. um, I actually picked it up like um, a little like six months or so after he passed. I'd had it in storage and decided, you know, I would figure out how to use it to continue taking pictures of my daughter and I um, oh, uh -huh. kind of, you know, little, yeah. you know, I don't want to just let it sit. So right. I figure out how to use it. It was his hobby. Oh. And I just from the minute I picked it up and started clicking, I just mm -hmm. I've I've loved it and oh. um, it hooks up with a mentor friend of mine that does newborn photography and um, just kept going from there and okay. um, decided to start my own photography business. So, okay, um, oh, a bit okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, wow, that was really wonderful. Um, yeah. So what made you want to start teaching photography to kids? So I wanted to do my own business and I was trying to find different things to do rather than just niche myself into, you know, family photographer. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with everything having been the way it's been for the last year now with the COVID and everything, you know, it's been harder to get clients. Mm -hmm. um, but now that the vaccines are out and mm -hmm. the camps are starting up, um, I started doing some research. And as I was going through, you know, photography camps or uh, photography lessons for kids, there's like nothing out there. Like mm -hmm. there's pottery for kids and painting and, you know, adventure camps, you know, where they go hiking and stuff, but there's nothing that teaches kids photography. And there are photography workshops and classes for adults, mm -hmm. but not for kids. Exactly. So that's where I got the idea from um, mm -hmm. was, well, you know, I love working with kids. Um, I enjoy, you know, child, um, toddler, baby photography. Like, mm -hmm. those are my favorite because kids are just, mm -hmm. there's just so much joy in them. And um, mm -hmm. so I've always enjoyed being around them. And I thought, well, why not teach them? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's wonderful. You know, get them outside and involved and, um teach them how to use a camera and how to you know they take it with them on vacation and you know capture all of all of that everybody's so about taking their pictures with their cell phones um mm -hmm. but then in the 20 or 30 minutes you're figuring out how to post the picture that you took on instagram yeah. and Facebook and all of that you've missed about 30 different things that you could have shot right um, so, yeah, so I just, um, it's kind of akin to to me picking up a camera is the difference between picking up your iPad to read a book or your Kindle or picking up an mm -hmm. actual book. Like, yeah, that is so it's, true. To me, it's like the same thing. And so why not get kids involved in that? Yes, I think that's really great. And what I really love is that you um, – 
created a whole site specifically for that. Um, it's titled kidswithcameras.net. So you really niche down into teaching kids. So um, how are you structuring your kids' camps? Because I know that's a big question a lot of photographers have because you can really do it a variety of different ways. So um, if you can let us know specifically how you're doing that. Yeah, so I'm doing it in small groups, partly because of COVID and partly because it's just me. And, you know, it's with the kids, you really want to be able to give more of a hands on one on one. So mm -hmm. kind of the idea of teaching a camp of 10 kids and everybody's asking questions and, you know, gets a little. So I'm keeping mine very small. Um, so How many? Students. Right now it's four. Um, okay. As restrictions release with COVID, I may up to like six. But mm -hmm. uh, since we'll be spending some time outside and doing stuff, I just figure it's easier to keep track of kids. Mm -hmm. It's not falling down a well or a great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just doing very small. And then yeah. what I've done is, so there's four kids per group. It's a Monday through Friday camp. In the morning, I have younger kids, like seven to 10 year olds. And then in the afternoon, um, I think morning session is from nine to noon and that's for younger kids. And then in the afternoon from one to four, for 11 to 14 year olds. Uh-huh, okay, great. Yeah. And is that Monday through Friday, is it a five day camp or are you spreading it out over several weeks? Nope, I'm doing a five day camp. Um, yeah, how much do you charge per student? <laughs> um, per student, I do two forty. Um, okay. And I researched other camps in the area. Like I said, mm -hmm. there's no photography camps, so I kind of had to go off of like with the different art camps, to right? Do, like a half day camp. Mm -hmm. um, and then right now, um, as an introduction, I'm doing um, ten percent off through April. Okay. Um, 30th so yeah sign up by the end of april and you before the end of april and you get 10 percent off very um, good so and that's, and that's listed on the website when you go there okay and, so. and how are you advertising for it or um reaching out to clients or how are you getting students so advertising has been a little bit of a challenge because we can't advertise in some of our typical ways that we would normally advertise right. like in person mm -hmm. Um, so mine has been a lot of, um, just being on top of my website. That was the biggest thing was creating the website because the, the, the kids that have signed up so far, I include in my form on the website, the intake form. How did you hear about us? And the two that I've gotten the most feedback on are internet search mm -hmm. and then, um, I've also, the other ones is I've found local like kids activity sites, um, uh, fun for Charlotte kids or kids out and about Charlotte. And they offer um, free or low cost um, uh -huh. advertising options for um, kid-based businesses. Oh, very um, nice. And like they that. post like their summer camps. Um, you okay. can go and put the times for your summer camp and they put them on the calendar. Um, mm -hmm. You can, you know, it'll link to your website. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so you can do stuff like that. And then I've gone a lot into like the the Facebook groups is a little bit more challenging mm -hmm. in Facebook groups because so many Facebook groups are about like you you can't plug your business and all of that. So I've kind of done it more around like asking questions. Is this something people would be interested in? And then they're kind of like, yeah, let me know. Um, mm -hmm. So I've done it, you know, a little bit of social media, but it seems like mostly it's been through um, kind of using those other websites. Yeah, the um, website, the other websites that a lot of parents in the area go to to find. Yeah, that's websites. really great idea. Are you blogging at all or putting any keywords for your site? Um, there are keywords in my site. Um, mm -hmm. I don't blog. I have hard enough trouble keeping up with getting social media posts on. <laughs> <laughs> right right. Now I blog. <laughs> um, okay. 
Okay. So, but yeah, I, there's keywords in the mm -hmm. internet. And of course, when I post, when I do post in like Instagram or Facebook, you know, I use. Right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and then let me see. I think that's the let, the next question I have is, um, what advice would you give to photographers who may be watching and they might be interested in teaching a photography class to kids or adults, you know, and they might be nervous. What would you say? Like, has it helped your business any to get clients or, I mean, just give advice, I guess. Um, I think the biggest advice is, um, I mean, I don't, I haven't gone into teaching adults yet. So I have, I can't really speak to that, but as far as the kids, I mean, I don't think you should be nervous. I mean, they're looking up to you. Kids are by nature curious. Um, and I think a lot of it is just creating a fun atmosphere, you know, using your personality, using the tools that you've created, you know, that you've created for, um, to help us. Um, and just have fun with it. Just, you know, I love the scavenger hunts that are included the you know the word finds the games i actually have my little memory oh, yeah. here that I to play. um yeah. and then we also have the three kings cards mm -hmm. so that is where i actually i think those are in the teaching kids curriculum right that's what and i was going to ask which one you're using are you using both the camp and the kids I am okay. so I'm using the kids class because I, I love these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm some of the things that are in worksheets that are included in the kids and then I'm translating them over into the camp as well. Um, so I think that I think really just it's it's just be yourself, have fun. You it's it's camera basic. So as a photographer you know those. So just be confident. Um, and don't be afraid to just be downright silly and, and have fun with them. Um, yeah. you know, you were a kid once too. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is really a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. Really so, and I think the other big thing too is having um that website up front because one of the things that I have done is I've created like the COVID policy and procedures, and you know, I get my first vaccine April tenth and my second May first. So I've also now added something in there on my website that you know as the instruction I will, as the instructor i will be fully vaccinated okay, by that's, yeah, that's you know good. within a month before camp starts um, yeah so know that you're being proactive and, that's great to um, yeah post that on there oh and then yeah. i forgot to ask you where you're going to have the camp i noticed on your um social media and you mentioned you're painting your studio and it looks like you're making a studio inside your garage which looks really I am. Awesome. I am, yeah. Is that so, going to have the camp, or? <laughs> well, it's for the camp, but then it's also I'm building like a full studio in there, so that I can do that. I love, um, like I said, I love kids and toddlers, and um, so I kind of want to do that also. Um, so part of the garage is going to be a full studio with lights, backdrop, everything, which is fun because then. I intend on using that also to do workshops with kids. So you can teach yes. them studio yeah. lighting and let them pose each other and yeah. Yeah. take each other and just make it more like really interactive. And yeah. then part of it is going to be like a little classroom set up with tables and chairs and you know, that we'll do um, the handouts and, and read through the curriculum together and then we'll go out and about in my neighborhood, uh, you know, mm -hmm. practice what we've learned and, mm -hmm. and all of that. And um, I know what you had asked too, I think how I use the curriculum. So this is, oh, sorry, uh -huh. my face. This is my binder. <laughs> you can see it. I'm like really bad with the camera. Um, and then I've um, created through Canva. So I've kind of created my own little tabs. Mm -hmm. oh, very good, oh, nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is my binder. So I've like put them all in sleeves. I'm so OCD. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. And then, Great. yeah, and then I'll be able, you know, the kids will have it in there. And so I go through the whole binder and then each day they'll get their handouts and stuff uh -huh. like that. 
Um, oh, I love and, it. Yeah. yeah, then that way they can take the handouts home. Um, they can either create their own little binder and make a little portfolio. Um, the other thing we're going to do in the studio is probably do, I think I might do like a small gallery wall that throughout the week of the camp, the kids can use their pictures up oh, on the nice. wall. Oh, oh yeah. that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Um, yeah. I think my other advice would be one of the things I've done is if you have a local um, photography store that sells like, mm -hmm. gear and equipment and all of that, partner mm -hmm. with them. Um, because oh, I've done that with my local camera store and they actually mm -hmm. have a poster of my flyer in their store oh, and they have my uh -huh. flyers um, uh -huh. because again, they don't teach stuff like this for kids. So right. I have right. And then I've been in return as I've talked to clients and they ask like where they can go to get a good camera mm -hmm. for their for their child without yeah. spending and, you know i refer them to my you know my camera store um because they do, um they have used cameras and stuff so it's not like a huge expense right. you know right. so um definitely partner with some of your local yeah. stores as well yeah that is excellent advice thank you so much Lori. i really oh. appreciate it <laughs> no problem. so thanks oh. so much. Yeah, you're welcome thank you Thank you.